Over the past few years, we've gotten some pretty interesting birds. Some big birds? And some little ones. All right, check out these quail. Are they for real? They look fake. <laughs> but the one we've gotten the most requests for. Are y'all gonna get Why pigeons? Why do you guys don't buy pigeons? Funny fish, you have pigeons buy as this. well? Buy this, you guys should get pigeons. Hey man, please keep a couple Call of pigeons. Call in pigeons, just ask them. They're so pretty. Junior? Junior, get ready to fly! Alright, here we go. Throw them up. Dad, stop the video. We gotta tell you how we got the pigeons. Alright, so I struck a deal with a guy online. I've got an abundance of pheasant eggs. We do plan on hatching some this year, but now that we have four females, pheasant eggs are gonna be multiplied to a much higher rate this year. So, so we thought we'd branch out, use this as a way to get a hold of a few other kind of birds. So I struck a deal with a guy online and we're gonna trade these pheasant eggs for another kind of bird, straight up. Got the birds, let's get them home. All right, we've got our shipment in. Let's open them up. We're gonna put them in the brooder for a little bit just to give them some space to get some food and water, get adjusted, and we're gonna go build them um, a little house. Oh. So we've got a pair of roller pigeons here. I think you can actually train these guys to do some tricks. So pretty. Let's put them in their house up here. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. You know what those are? Birds. Pigeons. Pigeons. Hello. We're getting ready to build a pigeon house. Not just one, we're gonna build two of them. Because we've got our pair, and then we've got their future offspring that we'd like to keep separate once they're of age to be able to do that. We build a vertical structure that's about eight feet tall in the front, maybe about seven, seven and a half feet tall in the back. First thing I need to do is build a frame for it, then I can start to, to fence the sides, put metal on the roof, and then start to put some of the interior roofs. Uh, nesting boxes, feed trays, water buckets, all the good stuff. Good. You like it? I do. I like it. We are making the nest. For who? For the roller pigeons. I what that. do you think of our nest? You think the roller pigeons are going to like that? Yes. Okay, let's try it out. What are you doing, pumpkin? <laughs> oh. All right, it is pigeon moving day. Let's go in here and move them into their new house. All right, think they're ready for their new home? Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's take them over there. Like That's great. <laughs> All right. Now June 4th, and we got our first pigeon eggs. Let's see what happens. It's about 20 days later, but nothing has hatched. So no babies, yet. So what do you got there? Four pigeons. Do you think so? All right, well, a couple months after getting into the pigeon project, we decided to get a few more. We've been talking to a viewer, his name is Blake, and he shipped us four younger pigeons. Let's check these out. Oh wow, it's a different color. These guys are so pretty. Lots of different variety and colors from the white pigeons we currently have. All right, here's pigeon number two. This is my favorite because it has a red rounded neck and on it head. I think this is my favorite. It has really cool coloring, yeah. really shimmery colors, like purple and greens on its neck. And then one more white one. You want to show yours up here? You can see their beaks are still bigger like when they're babies so they're still developing into adults. So we're gonna put them in the brooder and then we're gonna build them a new house right next to our other pigeons. That one's cool huh? What are you gonna name them? I'm gonna name this one soft. This one's so soft. See like this. Like secure the right hand. And then in August Jack and Jill 
finally hatched out their first baby. You see your baby? Both the mother and father will feed their baby, also known as a squab, milk that they regurgitate. Without it, a baby will die. The baby is starting to feathers. And the parents leave it alone when they're not feeding him. At 10 days old, he's starting to look like his mom and dad. Just a little smaller though. All right, so we just got all of the cages moved over here to the, the west side of our front property. We've got the quail house right down here. So we've got our uh, roller pigeons with their baby right there. We just were able to get them moved. And now we're getting ready to move the homing pigeons into their new house. And they're just about getting to flying age, so we're gonna keep them in here for a few weeks. Then we'll start to let them roam around the property just to get a feel for this area. And then we'll start to work on their homing skills and then start to gradually take them a distance away. I think this will be entertaining for the emus. Emus get to watch the pigeons. Pigeons get to watch the emus. All right, it's a big day for the homing pigeons. We're gonna let them out for the first time today. After getting used to their home, knowing that this is where they go in at night, then we let them out during the day, and then that will start to get them used to the property and the location, and then we'll start to work on the homing process, taking them away from the farm and letting them fly back. So let's get these pigeons out, and let them fly around the farm. Up in the tree. Oh, that one's flying around. Flying around the emu yard. There you go, right on the fence. Uh oh, the emu's coming for it. One's on top of the garage here. Woo! It's coming. Woo! It's flying. It's flying good. How are baby pigeons doing? Almost looking like the parents. Mm -hmm. Doing pretty good. Just with the. Little yellow hairs on its head. Uh huh. Maybe he likes my lap. After the first day of free flying, only three of the four pigeons returned. We were afraid that one be gone for good. But by the next day, he came back. So this became the routine. What the home and pigeons out and where, where them home is. Whoa. We can start training them to fly home from other places. What about our little baby pigeon? He was now 22 days old and growing quickly. Finally, he's gotten out of the nesting box and is walking around now. Pretty cool. He's looking more and more like his mama and papa, huh? Now he was almost a month old. And he would stand right in my hand without flying away. So much fun! Alright? So after a few weeks outside, the homing pigeons were ready to start training to fly home. So today we're going to start by sending these pigeons about three quarters of a mile home. I think it'll be a pretty easy trip for them. As soon as they get up in the air, they'll probably be able to see where their house is. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> go ahead, Uriah. Gotta let go. One, two. Oh, there. All right, Becky. Go ahead. Just as soon as we got home, they're already landed here. So that wasn't a tough one for them. We'll have to extend it out a little further next time. All right, it's day two, and we're gonna go a little over a mile away. We'll check on here before we send them out. Let's go. Okay, where'd they go? They're over here. The wrong direction. Our house is this direction, so we'll head home and see if they meet us there. Okay. We were so nervous. Were they going to make it home? <laughs> they made it back. They came in from behind us. We weren't even watching for them over there. And it took them about 20 minutes. We're at day three of flight training. We're 3.1 miles northwest of our house. They're headed the right way so far. Even faster today at 17 minutes getting home. Now would be a good time to tell you how homing pigeons find their way home. Some scientists believe that they have iron in their beaks, creating a magnetic field to turn north like a compass. 
More recently, scientists have thought that pigeons use smell from atmospheric odors or even infrared sound to determine their location. It's been 12 minutes, we just got home, and they pretty much beat us here. But the theory that makes the most sense is that they learn their directions from landmarks and roads. So that's why we gradually extend their flight distance, so they can start to learn their surroundings to find their way home. But on day five, I had a problem. We're on day five of our flight training. We're nine miles to the southeast of our house. Our place is over that way. Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. It's 24 hours later and the pigeons didn't make it back. I'm starting to rethink how I did that. I took them the furthest distance away in a direction that they hadn't been yet to the southeast and they haven't made it back. I don't know what happened to them. There's some pigeon tracking devices so you can keep a better track of where they head, but they're really expensive and they only last a lot of the batteries it looks like they only last about 12 hours so you'd really have to take action quickly and then either hope that these pigeons come back they make it back today or tomorrow we might have to find some other homing pigeons to train are they back where's everybody else where's everybody else i can't tell if it's ours or if it's if it's a different one i'm gonna try to put some food out see if we can attract it in i don't know if it's our pigeon it's ours. It's got our band and it's got a hurt leg here. A day and a half later. Come here. Maybe it is the band. Oh yeah, it's our band. It's, yeah. it's green. It's dirty. No green band. Oh, it's covered with like cement stuff. Look yeah. how dirty it is. Ooh, it's bloody. It's like just hanging. Is it broken? Okay, let's come back. Come back. We'll close it up so you just stay there. Okay. Hopefully your friends come back. Well, it's been one week since the homing pigeon has returned and the other three never returns. Kind of hawk season for pigeons. And so if hawks are flying around and they're running out of food that pigeons can make for easy prey. Because of that, we had to go get some more. And so we found someone kind of local to us and we were able to find a few more pigeons. Let's introduce you to them. So this one here, we're actually gonna keep as a breeding homing pigeon. It is black with a little bit of green tint right here. This one is just gorgeous. Look at this sheen on it. A lot like our green and purple. Just really pretty. You can't even buy them. And this is our girl that came home. The leg that was injured. And so it's starting to come along, starting to heal, but it's only been a week. And so we're gonna put this over in the breeding pen so we don't send her out. So we'll keep her over here and let her heal up. And so these are the the other three that will go over to the homing pen. We'll leave these guys in the pen for about a week and then we'll start to let them outside for a week and then we'll start to take them on trips. And this one's our roller pigeon. The first one that's hatched out and made it to adulthood from our farm. We're gonna let it fly around as well and roller pigeon. These ones are supposed to fly up and actually do some flips and rolls in the air. And so we'll see how they do when they're out and about. And this is our, I think it's a girl that came back and was injured. And we've combined her in this week with them. And she started flying immediately when we put her in and took a few of the others with her. So I think she'll be a great leader to start to lead these others on the trips home. We're going out for our second flight with the new group of birds here. And we actually got some new rings. These are GPS rings from Sky Leader. I just opened it up and then it fits right over this little ring on the pigeon's leg. And now we can take them out for a flight and see the route they take back. This tracking device was a ton of fun to use. I pulled up the data from flight number three and it shows me exactly where Leggy went, how long the flight was, how high above the ground she went, and even the circles she did around our property. I'll link the product down in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Right here. So I'm really disappointed with the way this is going, this training program. Right now we have three out here. One of them, of course, is our roller pigeon that was hatched here on the farm. The other two were two of the four we took out for the flight yesterday. To lose 
two more birds. We've lost three from this group. Uh, the two black ones and then another white and brown one. So I'm really tempted to give up my training program for this year. But what's my goal with our homing pigeons? Is it to fly long flights? Yes, absolutely. But I also want to have some fun experiences with them. So I've got one last thing to do with them. All right, we're doing a trial run today. Leggy has a camera on her. And so we're gonna try it out. See if we can watch what it's like to fly like a pigeon. All right, one last flight for 2020. You guys ready? Yeah. Can you guys help me out there? <laughs> All right, here we go. Throw them up. <laughs> 